lock workspace. Do you know that you can now lock your workspace in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019? It is another smart move by Adobe Photoshop. How it makes your work efficient? Let's watch in this video. This is my work environment. I have selected which is the essential one by default in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. However, I can lock my workspace. This is already by default locked. If it is not locked in your case, you go back to your workspace, whatever you have selected and just click on it, lock space. What does it mean? If you see this panel, layer panel, layer panel has three tabs, channels and paths. Let me remove this one. Can I remove this? I cannot remove this. Can I remove this layer panel over here? Full layer panel, I cannot remove. Everything is stick or the locked. Okay, go back to the colors. Color has two things, color and the swatches. Can I move the swatches outside? This window, I cannot. Colors, I cannot. The full window I can move, I cannot, it's fully locked. Now let's go back and unlock it. Let me remove the swatches. See this? This tab is easily moved out. Let me bring it back. Let me move the whole tab over here. See this, it is moved. Now, let me move this panel here and lock the workspace and see how it works. Can I move this? I cannot move this. Can I move this window? No, but I still can move this window. See this? I still can move it. If I bring it back, can I move it again? No, I cannot move it again. How it makes your work efficient? For example, before starting something, you decide that one. You are going to design a brochure or are you going to work on an image? Accordingly, you choose the toolbars on, on this windows or you select the toolbars from this window and lock your workspace through this option. Do you know that you can also create the new workspace according to your choice and you can lock these all options. For example, go to the window, workspace, new workspace. So you can give the name. For example, I give the workspace names, creative photos, suppose that. You can select the shortcut keys, a menu bar and toolbar. So let me save it first. And accordingly, for example, uh, I do not need those libraries. Uh, first of all, let me unlock. I guess it is locked. Uh, yes, it is locked. Let me, I do not need this one. Let me remove this one. I do not need this. Let me remove this too. Uh, I need this. I need channels. I do not need the, I need those colors also. Okay. And let me add a couple of other options. For example, Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. I need the brushes for example, let me on this one too, let me add this here. Now I'm going to lock it. This is, this is a workspace according to my choice and I'm going to lock it. That's it. You close the Photoshop, you open it again and you select your workspace, if it is not selected by default, you will find all options over there. So you do not need to memorize, okay, color was there and now where it is. It is somewhere here or I need to activate it or not. Okay, swatches was there. So each and everything will be at the same place and you do not need to memorize. It will make your work efficient and fast as well. So you know that, okay, well, color is here, swatches are here, properties are here. Immediately you will go there and select the options accordingly. I hope these tutorials helps to understand this feature. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please do not forget to like and subscribe for my upcoming videos.